Hi, hello, I'm Sugar, and welcome to a PTR preview of the Prototype Pantheon encounter in the 9.2 raid, Sepulchre of the First Ones. In this fight, you face four different prototypes with varying abilities. The first ones up are War and Duty. In order to push to the next phase, these two must both be brought to 50% HP. War has a Gloom Bolt that can be interrupted. This boss will also summon Necrotic Ritualists. These ritualists need to be nuked down as they summon an expanding pool from the middle of the room that reduces healing received by any player within it. Death Touch will be applied to players, and this can only be dispelled while inside a Bastion Ward that is summoned by the Duty prototype. If you are dispelled while outside of the bubble, it's a one-shot. Duty will be hitting the tanks with Humbling Strikes. This is the tank swap mechanic. The boss will fly away and cast a pinning volley at everyone. Anyone hit will need to be DPS'd out. Windswept wings will push the raid away from the bosses and do raid-wide damage. In stage two, we face prototypes of renewal and absolution. The goal here is to push one of them below 50% HP to enter phase three. Prototype of Renewal casts Anima Bolts that can be interrupted, summons a Wild Stampede to avoid, and creates Withering Seeds. The healers are able to heal up these seeds to prevent them from exploding onto the raid. The seeds will also give the healers a buff increasing their healing done that can stack for each seed that is healed to full. Prototype of Absolution hits the tanks with racking pain, forcing them to tank swap. There is also a Burden of Sin mechanic, but it was unclear if the raid needed to clear this with racking pain. Hand of Destruction pulls all players to Absolution's location. This releases images from all players after a short time. We found it best to try to spread out and dodge, but this was very messy so there could very well be a better way to handle it. In phase 3, the raid faces all of the prototypes and their abilities at once. Needless to say, my group didn't make it that far, but we tried our best. The catch for this phase is you have to defeat all four simultaneously. If you don't defeat them all at the same time, complete reconstruction will occur, healing them for 100% of their max HP. This spell does have a 20 second cast time, so I think we'll see some groups who are able to cut it really, really close and still get them all down at near the same time. I hope you enjoyed this PTR preview of the Prototype Pantheon Encounter. If you have any questions, let me know in the comments below. Okay, bye!